Governor Tim Walz is highlighting a local company working to help ease the strain of the ongoing microchip shortage. It's impacting everything from dishwashers to cars. As Leah Bino shares with us the ripple effect running deep for small business owners. She's joining us live from South St. Paul with more. Leah. Yes, we're here in South St. Paul where a car dealership owner says he is definitely continuing to feel the effect of that microchip shortage ripple effect. In fact, he's watching it very closely and he says right now prices are high for both buyers and sellers. I've never seen the market this crazy. Pre-pandemic, Ben Footh had about 150 vehicles spread out between his two Footh Auto Sales lots. These days he circulates through about 85 mainly because the microchip shortage for producing new cars continues to mean much higher prices for used and shops like this one running lean. The shortage has caused used car prices to escalate so incredibly high that a lot of our consumers who purchased one to four years ago are sitting really, really nice right now, really happy because their vehicles are worth, in some cases, not only what they paid, but more than what they paid. And you can see these pods. These Thursday, Governor Tim Walz and Deed Commissioner Steve Grove toured Skywater Technology in Bloomington. The company increasing production of microchips for a variety of industries from automotive to medical and aerospace. The group also advocating for the United States Innovation and Competition Act, recently passed by the Senate and believed to be a huge opportunity for places like Skywater to increase production even more. Not only is it those 100 jobs here, the expansion and all of the peripheral jobs that go with it, it's the security that comes with knowing that we're manufacturing our chips. We're not at the mercy of what's happening with the supply chain from Taiwan or anywhere else, and we control some of that data security right here in the United States. Futh is watching any potential potential help with the microchip shortage closely and working to diversify his business in all sorts of ways, including maintenance, until prices for new and used cars returns to levels he's used to. Most dealers are bracing themselves for next summer to late fall. Now, a few months ago, Futh decided to close on both Saturdays and Sundays, rare for a car dealership lot, but he says it's just another way of getting creative and keeping those costs down and employees are loving it. We're live in South St. Paul, Leah Bino, Fox 9.